You're listening to The Screen Team on 930 KWOC. Are you okay? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm going to make him an offer again with you. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. To infinity and beyond! Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Please, what does it always mean? This is Junior. That's his name. Henry Jones Junior. Like Indiana. We named the dog Indiana. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I am your father. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Bond. James Bond. And now the screen team on News Radio 930 KWOC. And welcome back to the screen team. Sabrina Jay here with you today. And uh, we want to bring you this show uh, courtesy of our sponsors, Whitworth's Gift Chest Jewelers, where Walmart is next door to us. 33 Productions, parent company of internet marketing products, including Fearless Social, I Am Secrets, Connect Reveal, Evil Video Magician, and Growth Lab. And uh, also PB Drywall, interior and exterior finishing, references available commercial and residential, 714-327-WE-ROCK. And uh, let's get this uh, special show underway. We have three very special guests. Uh, They're not very big. They're kind of petite. In fact, we've got an all-girls special today. And let's go down the list here. We're going to start here on my left. Tell me your name and how old you are. I'm Tate Taylor and I'm 10 years old. And who do we got next to you? I'm Bailey Taylor, and I'm seven years old. You had to stop and think about that one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I do too, all the time. And what's your name? I'm Carlos Cotton. I'm six years old. We got a full gamut of experienced moviegoers right here. And uh, they've each brought their favorite movie to the scene. We're going to be uh, screen teaming The Pirate Fairy off first. All right, so which one of you girls brought The Pirate Fairy to this show? We got Carly Scott did? No? No? Okay. Bailey? Wait. Who brought the movie? Tate? We can't hear a hand in the air, but that was very, very precious that you put your hand up like a good girl. I can tell school has started. <laughs> All right. So you can say you can say stuff. You don't have to raise your hand. Then. What good girls? I'm just so impressed. The Pirate Fairy, a computer animated fantasy film directed by Peggy Holmes. It's a sixth film in the Disney Toon Studios Tinkerbell film series. It's based on characters... Tinkerbell from J.M. Barry's Peter and Wendy. The film features the voices of Mae Whitman uh, reprising her role of Tinkerbell and Christina Hendricks as dustkeeper fairy named Zarina and Tom Hiddleston as a much younger James Hook. One of the most fascinating things about this show to me was that you don't know you're being introduced to Captain Hook until much later in the movie. So that was one of the most adult, I guess, grown up perspectives on it. I, I love the Tinkerbell series and I own all of the movies. So I was really excited to get to do this one. Uh, so let's start down here on the line. Um, Tate Tate brought this movie to the show. So tell us why you picked The Pirate Fairy. Because it's fun and it has a lot of energy in it and I really like it. Yeah? So can you tell me some of your favorite parts? When the crocodile hatches from the egg. I know! TikTok is so cute! And we, I call it TikTok. I don't really know if it's named TikTok in the movie or not, but he's really cute. He's a baby, and he falls in love with the with the Tinkerbells and, well, the fairies. And uh, he decides that he's going to be helpful later on in the movie, doesn't he? Yeah. He eats a clock. <laughs> What's that? He eats a clock. He does eat a clock. Okay, we're going to have you scoot just a little closer to that microphone there. Um, and Bailey, so tell me about your favorite part to it um, as I'm making her get down and move. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite part of the movie do you have some favorite characters any do you like any of the fairies better than others i don't know you don't know I like all of the parts. yeah well what kind of fairies do they have for somebody who's never seen any of the tinkerbell movies anybody tinkerbell? you have tinkerbell go ahead and speak up silver miss yeah what does she do she fly no she's water Water fairy? fairy. Okay. Anybody else? Rosetta. Me. Rosetta. She's the flower one, right? Yep. Yeah. What do you got? Vidya. She's a fast flying fairy. Ah, love. Is it Vidya? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's fawn. Fawn. She's good with the animals. 
animal fairy. Yeah, who's the sunshine one? The one that bends light. Oh, that is, um, I think it's... I don't know. There's too many of them. Sunny, you think? Could be, could be. I know there's a lot of them. Let's see, Rosetta, Fawn, Vidya. We've got Zarina, who was just introduced. We've got yes. Iridessa. Maybe that's who the... the yeah, 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 that's it. Um... We've got Tinkerbell and of course, and then Silver Mist. So those are our famous fairies. Zarina, she was an original fairy um, who was tasked with um, basically she had to cook stuff and she was she had to put ingredients together and she started playing around with the pixie dust. Right? Yep. She made pink, purple, blue, and stuff. Which was amazing because nobody thought it was possible, and they certainly didn't know what those colorful fairy dusts would do to people, right? Right. So, what happens? Bailey. Um, she keep, kept on making stuff. In secret? And, and, um, she started joining the pirates, and so she um, made all the pixie dust. Yep. What, she stole the-, the pixie dust and joined the pirates, didn't she? And that's how she became the pirate fairy. Well, she becomes their captain. And she's going to make their ship float in the air and go rob all the places they can go. No, not it's not her. It's all the pirates that are mean. They threw, they threw her in the ocean. And yeah, the well. And to get her out. In the beginning, we think she's a real captain. And she thinks she's a real captain. But she gets crossed by the, she gets basically, what do they call it, mutinied? <laughs> yeah. Think- and uh, so, of course, we have to have the fairies come to the rescue, and then we discover that the real pirate um, captain of the ship is just a young Captain Hook. That's right. And he, uh, it, it's it's kind of scary, but I think he's going to be back, don't you? Yeah. 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 I think we're going to see another one of these movies, and I think we're going to see probably more than one. Um, the, the attempts by the fairies to retrieve the blue pixie dust is, is you know, it's just like, she throws this dust at them, and all of their talents get mixed around. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I like the part where she does, um, she plants the pink kind of pixie dust, and it grows a lot of vines and stuff. Oh, yeah. It gets all out of control, and, and they use a lot of this stuff. It goes through houses. Yeah. It gets really super big. So, then she joins the pirates. She got mad and joined the pirates. Yes, she did. And then all those people try to throw her out in the ocean, and and she's in the ocean, and all the fairies try to get her out, and they and then the pirates try to go to the second star. Yeah, they think they're going to escape and and go to yeah, the real and the world. Yeah, the fairies turn it around. Yep, they they save it's the day. Cool. It is very cool and it's very imaginative, and I think it's a great way for adults to finally see where this pixie seven movie series is going because it's got to come back around eventually to where P- uh, Tink and Peter <coughs> Pan meet up. And I sorry I, about that. That's quite all right. Uh, I think that eventually we're going to see that reun- that that final coming together of Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. So, um, I think the the best part about it for me was really watching all the fairies lose their talents to each other, and they had to get used to adjusting to the new the yeah, new talents. I, I like where Tinker switched um, her, her her talent to a water fairy. It was pretty cool. Yeah, she didn't know what she was doing. And then, <laughs> she didn't know and at then, all. Um, Rosetta didn't even and know then, she was an animal And then the fairy. animal fairy girl, she said, e- you're thinking like a tinker. <laughs> she <laughs> <It's a video. laughs> <laughs> Because she's like, she's like, just thinking like a tinker. That's right. <laughs> well, this is the first edition of today's uh, screen team. We've got two more movies to review. And coming up in the rest of the show, we're going to find out about The Parent Trap, the 1998 yes. film, and Barbie of Swan Lake. Stay tuned to The Screen Team on 930 KWOC and 99.3. My dad's got to be watching this.